Hey everyone, the Viperian here and welcome back to another episode of the Pro Tips series where I'll be sharing tips and tricks on making your crash team racing experience a whole lot better. And today's episode is going to be talking about the shortcuts in the out of time map. Specifically both the fence shortcut and this shortcut right here after exiting the clock tower. By the way, I'll be showing you an awesome trick that you can do with this shortcut. So remember to watch till the end. I know a lot of people are having trouble especially with the fence shortcut. So sit tight and let's begin with this shortcut first. So this particular fence shortcut is a tricky one to pull off if you don't know what you're doing. It's not as hard as the blizzard bluff fence shortcut but it's still a shortcut where you can mess it up easily. The method that you're gonna learn is gonna allow you to take the shortcut much smoother than ever and it possibly succeed at 100% of the time. So you want to begin your setup right about here. Begin drift boosting as much as you can while you're heading to the shortcut. Try to get as many perfect boosts as possible to build up some speed. Do note that if you have gotten secret fire from one of the ramps after the starting line, maintaining it all the way to the shortcut can make the shortcut much easier. But if you don't have it, don't worry as the shortcut is still doable and manageable. So once you reach to the point where you can actually see the shortcut, immediately stop drifting and align yourself until you are directly facing to the fence. Now the next part determines whether you're able to make the shortcut or not, which is the timing of your jump. You will want to start jumping at this point right here, just after you ran off the road. This is a small bump that when timed right, will allow you to jump over the fence. Now after you made it to the other side, notice that you're at an odd 90 degree ender beside the road. You want to perform a hard turn to the right, aka air braking, while you're in the air. Try not to air brake too early or you'll just crash into the pile of rocks on your right. So that's it for the fence shortcut and now let's move on to the other one. Now this shortcut is not as technical as the fence shortcut as the main factor that you have to focus on here is your drift boosting technique. If you mess it up, you will just fall off the map as a simple jump on this shortcut just will not work. I highly recommend you can do what I always do here which is to directly start drift boosting to the left before you even got to the ramp. You want to aim to drift boost at least two times, preferably the last boost to be a perfect. Once you build up some speed and while your boosts are still running, just head to the tip of the shortcut and take that leap of faith to the other side. In the beginning of the video, I've mentioned that you can do something very special with this shortcut. Let's say if you have blue fire and you're heading to this shortcut, you can actually continue to drift off the shortcut without doing any jump because of the blue fire speed, which is pretty cool. So that about sums it up for out of time. Do subscribe if this helps you out as you'll be getting more tips and tricks like this one. As you may already know, this video is part of the Crash Team Racing Pro Tips series and previously I've made many many other guides such as Air Breaking, the Dragonmine Shortcut, the Blizzard Bluff Fence Shortcut and many more. So if that's your cup of tea, click here to head to the playlist or click here for my latest video. This is the Viperian signing off and I'll see you in the next one.